AI is taking over all the tools that you can find online and Canva is the next tool that included AI in their product. If you looked up a guide or tutorial to show how you can create a design or advertisement, there's a big chance that they sent you to Canva. Now they included AI that makes it even easier. So let's take a look what this AI can do for you. You see in this video, they just add one image and then they got a lot of different designs. You can create the presentation very easily right away. So you can see it has a lot and it's calling AI magic here. So first one is magic design. Turn inspiration into design in no time. So they just add the image and here they have all different images already that you can just change after you get it. And here you can insert the media. I have an image here that I created with Midjourney a long time ago. So I'm gonna press insert media and pull this one in. And like this, Canva is just gonna create some templates ready for my media. So let's see what it created. We have an Instagram post, a YouTube thumbnail. That's actually not looking bad. Album cover, pretty cool. Instagram post, so they have a lot of different styles. And in the top here, you can choose your headline. So I can do something like test from Canva AI, add to results. And I can choose a style. So maybe I want to go for a, oh, you have a lot. I'm gonna go for YouTube. And you can select the, also the color profile that you would like. I like this one and see results. And then it's mixing together your headline and the style. I do really like this one actually. So let me click on it and then you can go customize this template. And in here, you can really do whatever you want. So here we have YouTube thumbnail. And now it starts where you can actually design your own text. For instance, if you want a different font, you can choose that. You can move some things around, you know, if you want it on a different place, you can change image. So here on the left, you can go to elements. And if you have a certain element that you like, for instance, this square, you can just pull it and then it's added here. And you can even give it a different color if you go on the top and then choose a different color. But this is the automatic magic design. So if you don't want to do too much work, you can get a lot of designs just like this using your own image and putting it into Canva. But the magic edit is another feature that I think is pretty cool. Is your picture missing something? Want to swap something out? Magic edit lets you add or replace something in an image. So let's try it out. Just click here, try out. Here they already have a guide. So now try changing the cake into a kitten. We have here the magic edit. And on the left, you can select the brush size. So I'm gonna go for this size. And I make sure that I select the whole cake. And I'm not gonna make change it into a kitten, but I'm gonna go for a hat, old fashioned hat. So continue, describe what to generate. It will be created for you using AI. What do you want to generate in the brushed area? Straw hat. Now what it does, it generates four straw hats that hopefully can replace this cake and it will look nice. So this one's actually looking pretty good. We have a hat here instead of the cake, the cake is gone. I do really like this one. I think this one is the nicest. It has a nice color going on and I can just press done. And now the image is changed. It has a head here. So this is a pretty cool feature. I think I want to try it with another image. And this time I want to do something else. I want to turn the shoe into something. So I select the shoe, make sure to select all the corners, continue, describe what to generate. So maybe we don't want the shoe, but we want like a army boot. Okay, let's see what we got. So here we got two little, very little shoes. This one is a bit better actually. This one is a bit wonky. These are two. So as you can see, it's not perfect yet, but it's pretty cool what you can do. And they have two other functions that I cannot use now because they are only for the pro version, but this is the magic eraser. And this just means you select something that you don't want and you click erase and it will be erased from the image. And they also have the background remover. So that means you can just select, for instance, the blue that you don't want, and it is just cut out of the image like that, super easy. So this was the magic design and the magic edit. And I think those two are the biggest two AI tools that they have, especially the magic design, because Canva is really something where you create a lot of designs like posts, Instagram stories, make a little YouTube thumbnail. And with this, you just post in one image and you get so much. It saves a lot of work using this by just adding one image and you get a lot back. They also have a new function to automatically translate your text. So for instance, here we have the text, we are a global team working with amazing brands to create stories. I can select it all, translate from, 
automatically detect, translate to, gonna change it to Dutch because that's my language, apply to page one and translate. And like this, it is totally changed. So here in the top, I have the English one. And here in the bottom, we have the bottom one. Wij zijn een wereldwijd team dat samenwerkt met geweldige merken om verhalen te creëren. And that indeed means we are a global team working with amazing brands to create stories. This is amazing because you don't have to change the design, it's done automatically. So if you are someone who creates a lot of posts for Instagram, for instance, just with the click of a button, you can create it in another language. And with another click, it's the next language. So it saves so much work. It's a really cool feature that they have. They even have some animation right now. Tell a story with your unique animation style. And you see here, they pull the bee and now the bee goes like that. So then you get actually a little animation video that before you couldn't make with Canva. So let's try it out. We have a couple of presets that they already have. So let's take a look. So I can go to animate after I click on the ball and I can go on create animation. Select and drag an element around the canvas to create your animation. Hold shift whilst dragging to create straight lines. Control the speed of your animation by moving the element faster or slower. So this ball is gonna go all up and it's gonna go down and up again and it's gonna go back and in the goal. And like this, okay, it doesn't look amazing, but it is pretty cool. If you wanted to do this before, you really needed to learn After Effects. And this is just literally drag and drop. It really changes the way that we can make animations. They also added something else that they are calling Magic Write. It's like Jasper, ChatGPT, and basically they just help you to write. So I can type, write a intro for a YouTube video about cool AI tools. And just press enter. So welcome to our latest video. Today we're going to explore the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. If I press the plus here, I can do add magic, magic write. I can add another chapter or something like this. I can summarize the text or if I do this whole one and I click the plus, I can rewrite, expand text, edit with magic write. So they have some cool options that you can use in the magic write. And of course the AI tools are not complete without the text to image generator. So here they also have bring images in your head to life with text to image. So if I click try out here on the left, you see text to image. So you can select the style if you want. So I'm gonna go for a portrait in a filmic style, no, in a dreamlike style. I'm gonna go for dreamlike and include objects, colors, locations, surroundings, and people. So I'll go for a snowy desert with colorful birds in a dreamlike style. Create your image. And like this, you're just gonna get four images. I have this image. Let's take a look. We can pull it in here. It's looking pretty cool. I like it. But now we can go to the next step. So if I would, if I click here on the image, I can go to edit photo. And here we have the other tools. So now I can use the magic edit, for instance, if I want to select the eye, continue and make it a blue eye. Okay, so the eye, I think the, my selection was a bit too big, but I can do like this. And this is where it all comes together. So Canva really created a suite of AI tools that you can all let work together. So first you create the image that you like with the text to image. Then after that, you can go to the magic edit. If you want to change something, if something is not perfectly right, then you can go to magic design and you add the image that you just created and get a lot of templates. You can change it around, you can translate it automatically. So it's really quite impressive what Canva AI managed to do here. I think Canva did something very impressive and it's super fun to try out. I'll put a link in the description where you can also try out this tool. And I'm curious, is there one tool in this whole suite of AI tools that you think you will use the most? Let me know in the comments and please subscribe because I will make a lot more AI content.